welcome to dr arkes classes today we will discuss a important long answer questions in the board examination first we will start with the waves chapter the important question here is the explain the formation of stationary waves in a stretched strings and hence deduce the loss of transverse waves in a stretched strings when two progressive waves of same wavelength traveling along the same line and in opposite direction superimposed over each other stationary waves or standing waves are formed when two progressive waves of same wavelength when two progressive waves of same length traveling in opposite direction traveling in opposite direction stationary waves are formed stationary waves are formed if y1 represents a wave traveling towards positive x direction that is y1 is equal to a sin omega t minus kx y2 represents a wave traveling towards negative x direction y2 is equal to a sin omega t plus kx according to superposition principle y is equal to y1 plus y2 then if you simplify y is equal to 2a sin kx cos omega t this equation represents a stationary here this 2a sin kx is the amplitude of stationary wave or standing wave that is this one when sin kx is equal to zero so the amplitude is zero that point is called node node is the point where the amplitude is zero at some other places where sin kx is plus or minus one the amplitude is maximum those points are called anti nodes when a stationary waves are formed nodes and anti nodes are formed in the medium okay. the distance between two successive nodes is lambda by 2 the distance between node and anti node is lambda by 4 lambda by 4 now for example when a string is fixed between two supports and y prime stationary transverse waves are formed in the string when it is vibrating in one loop single loop the length of the string is equal to lambda by 2 that is lambda is equal to l and also we know that the velocity of a transverse wave v is equal to root of t by mu what is the the tension in the string and mu is linear density of the wire linear density of the wire so if you have used the formula v is equal to l lambda we will get the frequency of a vibrating string n is equal to 1 by 2 l into root of t by mu where t is the tension in the wire or string mu is the linear density okay. now based on this formula we can derive or we can state the loss of vibrating string the loss of vibrating string when tension and linear density remains constant, frequency is inversely proportional to length. N is proportional to 1 by L when T and V are constants. Next, second law. Frequency of vibrating string is proportional to square root of tension when length and linear density are constants. And the third one. The frequency of vibrating string is inversely proportional to square root of linear density when length and tension are constants. These three are the laws of vibrating string. To verify this, we use sonometer. Let us look at the important points we have to write in exam for this question. That is formation of stationary waves in a stretched strings. First, we have to write when the standing waves are formed. That is when two progressive waves of same wavelength traveling along the same line and in opposite direction superimpose stationary waves or standing waves are formed. This is a very important point. Next, the mathematical equation for stand, standing wave or stationary wave. If y1 represents a wave traveling along positive x direction, y2 represents a wave traveling along negative x x direction the resultant wave that is stationary wave is y is equal to y1 plus y2 where y is equal to 
டூ சைன் கே எக்ஸ் காஸ் ஒமேகா டி இயர் டூ ஏ சைன் கே எக்ஸ் இஸ் தி ஆம்பிளிடியூட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டேஷனரி வேவ் திஸ் ஈக்வேஷன் ரிப்ரியன்ஸ் ஸ்டேஷனரி வேவ் ஆர் ஸ்டாண்டிங் வேவ் let us define what is a node node is you have to write what is node the point where the amplitude of vibration is zero is called node that is sin kx is zero when the point where the amplitude of vibration is maximum is anti node that is sin kx is 1 this the distance the distance between two successive nodes or anti nodes is lambda by 2 that is this one this value the distance between the distance between two successive node and anti node is lambda by these two are very important points these two are very very important points next very important thing is the transverse waves in a stretched string we know that the velocity of a transverse wave along the string is v is equal to root of t by mu here what is t tension in the string what is mu linear density if string is vibrating in a single loop or fundamental mode the distance between two successive nodes is lambda by 2 which is equal to length of the string that is wave length of the wave is lambda is equal to 2l and we know that the general relation v is equal to n lambda from this we get the frequency of vibrating string in fundamental mode is n is equal to 1 by 2l root of t by m this is a very very important equation this is a very very important equation okay now we'll write the loss of vibrating string okay first law let us say if the tension if the tension and linear density remains constant the fundamental frequency of vibrating string is inversely proportional to length that is this one provided tension and linear density are constants this is a very important point next second law if length of the vibrating string and linear density remains constant fundamental frequency of a stretched string is directly proportional to square root of tension provided length and linear density are constants this is the second point the next point is third law of uh, it's also called law of masses if length of the vibrating string and tension remaining constant the fundamental frequency of the stretched string is inversely proportional to square root of linear density that is this point n is proportional to 1 by root mu when l and t are constants these three are the very important laws of vibrating string